Conversational actions allow you to create a rich, multimodal experience for your app or service with Google Assistant. Creating a great conversational experience is always the goal, and Action Builder offers many helpful features to create a conversational action that can feel like a real conversation with Assistant. Hi there, I'm Mike from the Google Assistant Developer Relations team. Today I'm going to talk about SSML features for conversational actions, and how you can take advantage of some of the features within SSML to make your conversational apps that much smoother. So let's start with the basics. What is SSML? SSML stands for Speech Synthesis Markup Language. It allows us to specify how text is pronounced when using Assistant's text-to-speech features. SSML is an industry-wide standard that is governed by the World Wide Web Consortium, or W3C. SSML is an XML-based markup language, and will look pretty familiar if you've written XML or HTML or anything like that before. At its most basic, SSML allows you to supply text to a text-to-speech generator, producing a sound file speaking the contents of your text. Let's take a look at a quick example. Once upon a time, in a little house in the woods. Pretty cool, right? Without much effort, this sample pauses when it gets to the comma, and even trails off a bit when it gets to the ellipsis at the end of the sentence. If you've built a conversational action before, you may have bumped into SSML once or twice. There's many additional features specified in SSML, which can help you add depth and character to speech voiced by the assistant. Once upon a time, in a little house in the woods, there was a little family making their dinner. We've recently added support for a couple new SSML features to assistant. Let's take a look at a few of those features. First up, the phoneme tag. This allows you to customize the pronunciation of specific words. This can be useful when you want the assistant to pronounce a certain word just so, or if your app is used by people in different regions where the same word can have a markedly different pronunciation. To do this, you'll wrap the word whose pronunciation you want to specify in the phoneme tag and supply two parameters to the tag, alphabet and ph. The alphabet parameter is used to specify the phonetic alphabet you want to use to declare your pronunciation. You've got two options here, IPA for the International Phonetic Alphabet and XSAMPA, which is the Extended Speech Assessment Methods Phonetic Alphabet. These are both industry standards which are used to describe phonetics. One caveat here, if you're using text-to-speech for the Chinese language, the options for alphabet are pinyin and jutping. There are more details on this in the docs if you're interested. The other parameter to supply is pH, which is where you supply the phonetic spelling of the word that's being processed. For more information on what's available here, check out our docs on supported phonemes and levels of stress. So let's take a look at a classic case where you might want to use the tag. You may have heard this old gem before. You say tomato, and I say tomato. Actually, that's not right at all. But let's not call the whole thing off. With a little bit of phoneme magic, it'll sound just like this. You say tomato, and I say tomato. Perfect. Now the assistant can say it the way your audience expects, so you can go your way and I'll go mine. Up next, the duration tag. To tell the interpreter to read something as a duration of time, wrap the time measurement in a say as tag. You'll supply a parameter called interpret as with duration and a format string to tell the interpreter how to read the number. Shelley finished the half marathon in two hours and 23 minutes. Now, when your SSML is interpreted, the text to speech engine will treat it as a duration rather than an ordinal number. Until recently, Assistant's SSML engine would only generate speech in a single voice per call. With the recent addition of support for the voice tag, you can generate audio in multiple voices and multiple languages in one SSML file. Let's check that out. Good morning, friend. Good morning, friend. Buenos dias, amiga. There's many options which you can use here for voice and language. Jump into the docs for more on the specifics. Similarly, we've added support for the lang tag, which allows you to use the same voice in a different language for a subset of your SSML text. Let's take a look at how you might use the lang tag. All right. Here's some places with great croak madame in Boston. Great. So those are some of the great new features which are supported in conversational actions for Google Assistant. For more information, head on over to the docs. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, or if you want to see what everyone else is building, join us on Reddit at r slash Google Assistant Dev or follow at Actions on Google on Twitter. Hope to see you there.